Um, Patrick, rumoured peace talks between <laughs> King Charles and his sons, uh, William and Harry. You know, look, I, I have no idea whether these are really got, you know, palace leaks or, or whatever or made up. Apparently off the table. They were set to meet in the middle of the next month. Now it's reported. It's off. It's off. Uh, Charles feels utterly betrayed by Harry. William's utterly disgusted. I mean, what's going on here? Yeah, well, so a story was planted in OK Magazine. Now, OK Magazine is kind of the preserve of, you know, showbiz gossip tittle-tattle, which is the pond that Harry and Meghan are fishing in now. Uh, so it was planted in there that maybe King Charles had decided that he wasn't going to go to France for a visit. Instead, he was going to go and uh, visit Harry for peace and reconciliation talks whilst Harry is in Europe for the Invictus Games. However, that has been immediately slapped down. And a rare quote here from a friend of Prince William, which is probably just Prince William, uh, saying, no, absolutely not. I feel incredibly <laughs> betrayed and disappointed in Harry, basically saying he's completely and utterly dead to me. And I'm not surprised, because what Harry tried to do, of course, was torch the House of Windsor on the way out of it, wasn't it? And, in the process, slagged off William's wife. Just to say as well, I suspect this was planted by Harry and Meghan, and I suspect it's because they know the only currency they have to deal in these days is being close to the royal family. And I think Charles and William... The only time William should meet him in my book would be to batter him. <laughs> He's done that once already, mate. Uh, didn't go too well for Harry.